Hello everybody, my name is Ed Budd and I'm here today to give you my initial impressions on the Asics Glide Ride. So dressed up in my mod attire here, because this shoe certainly reminds me of the mod father Paul Weller's album Heavy Soul. Managed to get a pair of the Asics Glide Rides here in the red colourway. Really great looking shoe actually, I think this one looks really different. It's got something else, it's just got a little bit of that spice. It's certainly got some character about it this one. It's certainly got an interesting midsole design this shoe. And I tell you what, the outsole, oh it smells amazing. That rubber really does smell good, just like a garage. Really, really like the shoe aesthetically first off. I think this is a really great looking shoe. I wasn't quite so sure when I opened the box and pulled these out, but I actually really love the aesthetic of it. It just looks, it looks so different. And different's good, right? We should celebrate things that are a little bit out of the ordinary. I can really burn some dust in Griswold style in these new glide rides. Well done, Asics. Good aesthetics, a nice looking shoe, old school stylings, because that's what's really important, right? So before I take these out for a spin, I'm gonna go through some of the specifications of this model. There's a really hefty heel counter here. This shoe really does feel like it's built to last. It's tough, solid, and highly cushioned back here in the heel area. I don't really tend to kind of feel heel areas too much, but this one's certainly quite substantial, so it'll be interesting to feel how it is on foot. It's got lots of different types of woven panels on the upper, all sorts of different patterns. Everything here feels very comfortable, quite plush, actually. When I first slipped the shoes on, felt that the tongue was very, very padded. It's got these kind of ridged sections on it that seem to stop the laces from moving around on it. So when you've got the tongue in place, it doesn't seem to move around. Those ridges create a little bit of friction. The underside of the tongue, though, is really padded, really soft. It almost feels like the Asics motifs here in plastic are there to provide some additional structure and stability to the upper. Not that it needs it, I don't think. The upper itself is relatively thin, but there's a lot of material there. It's certainly not a light shoe. This comes in around about 325 grams in a UK size 11, that's a US size 12. I think if I was to choose three words to describe the Glide Ride, it's certainly plush, comfortable, and enjoyable. So the midsole and outsole have got two discrete layers here. One closer to the foot that's a little bit softer, and then a tougher, slightly denser, more stable foam under that. I think there's about a five millimeter drop here. At the heel, it's about 31 millimeters, and at the toe, about 26. It's quite tough to measure though. As you can see, there's quite a considerable curve up here from the midfoot area up to the toes. And it's very rigid. There is this kind of plastic piece here, which kind of acts like a plate. There's only a single piece there, a very thin strip, but I think that's its purpose. It does provide some rigidity to the shoe. I think the traction here is gonna be great. This really kind of sticky, very smelly rubber on the outsole. I did actually notice that on the ASICS website, they only give the heel to toe drop as approximate numbers. I can probably see why actually. It, this thing, um, it's very difficult to actually measure truly what the heel to toe drop is. If that's something that you're really, really worried about. Personally, I'm somebody that can tell if there's a slight difference in the drop relatively quickly. I've got to be honest that my running gait isn't the best. It's improving certainly, but I tend to be a midfoot striker. If I wear a shoe that has a slightly lower drop, I do tend to feel a little bit more clearance as I'm running. So um, I think that does help me a little bit with a slightly lower drop. That side, I do really like running in the 4% with that 10 mil drop. It just feels great when you really, really get moving in those at high pace. So as I mentioned previously, there's a lot of midsole here. There's a lot of upper. That leads to quite a considerable weight. 325 grams, that's about 11.4 ounces. So certainly one of the heavier shoes of which I've tested of recent months. The midsole and outsole, very similar to that found on the Hoka Only Only Carbon X actually, in terms of appearance. We've got one layer of EVA foam, and then there's a second layer of flight foam propel. That's actually really, really hard to say. Flight foam propel. There you go, I got it. So lots of shoe here, but how does it feel on foot? I'm gonna take these out right now.
and just like that I'm back six miles at seven minutes 30 per mile in the ASICS glide ride. That kind of pace felt really great in this shoe, I have to be honest. It really does seem to fit with that kind of steady rolling kind of miles feel. I thought it was gonna take a little while to get used to that kind of quite rigid curve. Ah, oh, cats again. I'd always attacked by cats in this place. I thought it was gonna take a while to get used to that kind of quite pronounced curve at the front of the shoe, but it really didn't. Legs have obviously rested fairly well over the last couple of days. I uh, only did three miles the previous day, so legs felt pretty fresh and pretty good and started landing right near that midfoot, or forefoot most of the time actually, it felt really nice. I was going a little bit faster than I intended for the first couple of miles. As I moved into the run, got up to the run about the third mile and there's quite a nice bit of elevation there I could go up, so I decided to take the glide rides up there, see how they felt. And I've got to say, these do return quite a bit of energy that you put into them. Mustn't ever judge the book by the cover, as Bo Diddley said. These do give back quite a bit of spring. You can really feel the push off if you hit that midfoot or forefoot area and push through. This shoe really does return quite a bit of that impact. I have to say it really did feel quite similar to the Nike Zoom Fly in terms of that curved section here, that push off. It really does give me that same sensation, albeit that the Zoom Fly is quite a bit lighter than the Glide Ride. We can get away from the fact that Glide Ride is quite a weighty shoe. On foot though, it doesn't really feel that heavy. I certainly don't think it's gonna be a fast paced shoe for anyone. If you're gonna reach up into those sort of six minutes 30 kind of areas, I think you might be pushing it a little bit. But for me, I think it's gonna fit into that category of those longer sort of steady miles. I think a lot of people are gonna compare this shoe to the Hoka Only Only Carbon X, but I really think they're quite different. It's beautifully cushioned. It felt really, really good on foot. It felt very, very comfortable. And not at one point did I think, oh, I can't wait to get this thing off my foot. It really does feel nice. There's enough width here in the toe box. Um, over the half marathon recently, my little toe on my right foot really did get crunched up underneath the other toes. Uh, it's been a little bit painful for a couple of days. It feels okay now, and it feels fine after six miles in the glide rides at 7.30 per mile. I think the upper, perhaps, in the Carbon X is quite a bit less present. It's a lot thinner, it's a lot lighter, but I think this one, for winter miles, where I probably want a little bit more around my foot to keep the foot warm, I think it's gonna be a winner. Surprisingly, on the route I've used today, there wasn't an awful lot of water left. There's been quite a bit of rain recently, but that seems to have evaporated away in the heat. The days have been relatively warm, really. So not huge opportunities to test this one out through any water. In the weeks to come, I'll be able to uh, undoubtedly test these in some water, see what they take on. That could be a bit of a make or break for this shoe, it being already quite a weighty shoe. In terms of traction, the rubber lived up to the smell. <laughs> Lift up to the smell. What the hell am I talking about? Really, really great traction on road and pavements. It really felt like I had some good grip there. I could really push off well through the gate cycle. Quite a lot of trees have been dropping their conkers, I guess you call them. I think you probably call them that in the US as well. Um, they've been dropping all the debris and there were some quite crunchy and very crisp pieces that had fallen onto the floor and running over those with the glide ride was absolutely fine. Um, they just seemed to crush them and uh, still, I still had some good traction there. I noticed that ASICs have got their gel system here. There's a very small amount of it just at the back of the uh, heel. I would imagine that's for those of you who might be heel striking a little bit. Today I've certainly been on the, uh, the midfoot, the forefoot, so can't really comment on the comfort level there, but it does seem as if it could work for a variety of different runners. In terms of fit, over the six miles, I didn't really have any issues at all. Lace the shoes up, I didn't feel I needed to go overly tight really, um, but no issues in terms of fit. Tongue stayed exactly where it needed to be. Uh, it's quite padded. That could be a bit of a problem when uh, moisture comes into play as the UK winter really hits us, but it certainly feels like a very stable shoe. Not at one point in the run did I ever feel unstable on my feet, even though the legs are pretty beaten up still. I gotta be honest, uh, walking around, going upstairs fine, trying to go downstairs, it's it's not pleasant right now. So certainly some very promising first impressions in the A6 Glide Ride. Please comment below if you've also got hold of these shoes and tell me your views and opinions of them. What are your experiences in the Glide Ride? If you've got any questions for me about the shoes, please place them down in the comments. 
Remember to hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner here. It would mean a lot to me. Please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your friends. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you.